I'm in Holt and I thought that I would take the opportunity to go to the Holt Antique Centre which I haven't been to for quite some time. The sun is shining, it's a beautiful day and first I am heading to meet Mark. Mark's had a work cancellation and he phoned me and asked me if I'd like to join him for lunch because he's heard of a deli that we haven't been to but he's heard good things about it because he's got a couple of hours spare he thought that we could have a date that's where I'm heading now and tomorrow Mark is going to a school reunion I'm actually going to drive him because I don't want him driving home feeling hungover and possibly over the limits that would not be good so I'm going to go with him and be his chauffeur for the day I'm hoping on the way to his school reunion that we'll have the opportunity to pop into the Emmaus in Cambridge just to see what they've got there so lots of opportunities for antique and vintage hunting here we are at Star Plain Deli Mark's lunch spot of choice looks good great window seat great view watching people and cars go by and here is the man himself looking very smug with himself on our date i can't believe i've never been in here before it's so nice wow that's one toasty <laughs> and it's a charcuterie plate for me obviously i won't eat the bread fully fueled on toasty and meat platters we're now at whole temporium let's go and see what we can find Without a doubt, this Emporium just gets better and better. The displays are fantastic. As soon as you walk in, it's wow. I've got my eye on the wall cupboard at the back. I'm going to go and get a tape measure. That's a shame, the wall cupboard just wasn't the right size, but you never know, hopefully I'll find something else. In this emporium, you definitely have to look up, look down, look all around and actually go around two or three times. You always spot something different. That's a sweet little pair of dogs. Not bad, 56 pounds. Someone likes their animals around here. We've got camels, lions, panthers. And there's quite a few other animals as well to spot. I've already been here for about 10 minutes and I haven't actually left this spot yet. Let's move on and see what else we can see. I still really like that cupboard. It's such a shame it doesn't fit. That's it, on we go, moving on to the next section. What I'm really looking for are interesting pieces of furniture. I do not need any knickknacks at the moment, but furniture is something I definitely do need. He's a bit odd in the dome. I can't actually quite work out what's happened. He's got a squash face. There are so many different dealers in here. Each section is totally different and they do keep it well stocked. 
you just never know what you're going to find. Gosh, that black and white drawl is a bold statement. That would go with my Dalmatian fabric that I'm looking at. These little lead figures are so sweet, especially with the Cinderella style carriage. Very nice and not bad for £35. Have you seen anything that catches your attention yet? There is certainly a lot in here that I could snap up. You can see what I mean about there being so many different things. Every dealer brings something different to the table. It's amazing. I just can't take it all in. I definitely am going to have to go round a couple of times. There are outdoor areas to the left and to the right, but I'm just feeling too cold today to go outside, so I'm going to carry on to the back room. Gosh, that's a nice collection of French glass frilly lampshades. There seems to be lots of lampshades this time. Maybe I've just got lampshades on the brain. I don't think I've ever seen it quite so round in here. There is so much stock. I can't believe I haven't found anything to buy yet. The thing that I definitely like about this Emporium is that there is a definite focus on interiors as well as antiques, although I'm not sure that these little lead figures fit into that criteria, but they are really cute. These really remind me of my childhood and the fort that my dad made for me. I really love that red sign, that was here before. I'd love that in my kitchen, but it's not the right time to go buying things like that for the kitchen when I actually need kitchen units. This is a very nice area. I like visiting this area. It's 
so nicely laid out and these little monkeys are quite cute too. I think I've probably been to all areas now, but I definitely want to have another quick quiz around. There's so much to take in. There's those spotted, well, they're not drawers, they're bedsides. <laughs> they're fun. Not for me, though. Just a reminder that I am wandering around Holt Antiques and Interiors. I will leave a link in the description. So if there's anything that takes your fancy, do give them a ring. I'm sure they'll be happy to help. Well, I am amazed that I think I will be going home empty handed. Everything that's in here and I haven't managed to find one thing to take home. Although I do love a good Wally dog, look at those. And I'm back where I started, another favourite area. One last quick skim around. So many nice things. me to go home and get ready for the weekend and for Mark to go back to work. That was really fun. I hope you enjoyed whizzing around here. Morning. We're heading to Emmaus in Cambridge on the way to Mark's school reunion. We've just stopped off so that Mark can take a comfort break. It feels as though we've probably missed the morning bargains because we got off to a reasonably slow start. But anyway, everyone wants different things, don't they? So we'll go and have a look and see what we can find. Here we are at Emmaus in Cambridge. This is amazing. I love parking and then walking past this garden. It always looks immaculate. It's such a nice way to approach the shop. On the way to the cafe, we've picked up two books. This one is about France and it's actually in French. So we fancy trying to see if we can read that because our French is definitely a bit rusty. But I love this. This was a prize given in 1949. This was of particular interest because it's got photographs of places that we have been to. This is Chartres, where we were only the other week. The aim is to try and read this in French. And we've also picked up another French book. It's a cookbook, but this time in English, The French Kitchen by Joanne Harris. Both Mark and I absolutely love cookbooks and we draw great inspiration from them. We're trying to find something to eat for dinner next week. And here's our dinner for today. Good old ham, egg and chips. I think Mark's going to need a full tummy before he goes out drinking later. And of course, there's the obligatory green tea. Okay, I now feel full and we'll have a quick whiz around. I have to warn you, it's exceedingly busy, so I am finding it quite difficult filming. I don't want to catch anyone on camera and make them feel awkward. I'm trying to dodge the crowds, but it's quite tricky today. It's heaving.
it is as I feared. I think we've missed all the amazing stuff. I know Saturdays can be so, so busy and you've got to be here at nine o'clock on a Saturday and it's gone lunchtime, but it's nice just to have a look around. Let's see if they've got any fabric that takes my fancy. No, maybe not today. It's always worth a look though. I also always make a beeline for the curtains. I would love to find some curtains, but again, no luck today. Not something you expect to see, a bath. I am gutted that I've missed out on this chair. That would have made an amazing upholstery project, but somebody's beat me to it. Oh well, that's just the way it goes. Just got time for another quick pan around, just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. We are going home with our two books, so we're very happy with those. But I think it's almost time to get Mark to his school reunion. And now it's raining. Well, I wasn't expecting that. You can see from the car park how busy it is. I think I did well not to record anyone. I hope you enjoyed this little antiquing jaunt out to Holt Antiques and Interiors and also Emmaus in Cambridge. We didn't come away laden with treasures, but we did get a couple of books which we're delighted with. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.